Hello and welcome to a special report from SDBSGN. That's socially distant, but still good news. Hi, my name is Cassie Berenger, and we are here outside of beautiful St. Peter's Lutheran Church in Lexington, South Carolina. Like churches across America, things have been different here lately. Worship has been moved to online only at YouTube. But one question remains. What about celebrating Holy Communion? Would you look at that? There's a senior pastor now. Excuse me, sir. Yes. May I have a moment of your time, please? Sure. Oh, what can I do for you? Well, would you please wait right there? Social distancing. Luckily, I brought my tape measure with me. Would you please pick that end up? Okay. Thank you. Hi, I'm Cassie Berenger with SDBSGN. Socially distant, but still good news. We had heard that your congregation is not celebrating Holy Communion at this time. That's correct. Would you mind if we asked you a few questions about that? No, not at all, but the sun is brutal. Let's go inside, okay? Thank you. How about if we sit right here? Uh, uh, are we still good? Let's okay. see. Is that six feet? Okay, we're good. Thank okay. you. Good. Well, first, Pastor, would you just introduce yourself to us, please? Sure, be glad to. Uh, my name is Bill White, and I'm privileged and pleased to serve as the senior pastor here at St. Peter's Lutheran Church in Lexington, South Carolina. Great, thank you. People are asking, is there a way that we can have communion during this quarantine period while we're not allowed to gather together in groups? Well, I know that there are a lot of churches that are finding ways to celebrate the Lord's Supper, but for us in the Lutheran Christian tradition, we do of course try to keep our theology and our practice together to practice what we preach. And by our understanding of the Lord's Supper, uh, it would not be appropriate for us to do it at the present time, to celebrate the Lord's Supper until we can come back together uh, as a gathered community. Thank you. So, Pastor, you're saying that at St. Peter's, you won't be celebrating Holy Communion over the Internet? That's right. Again, we want to keep our theology and our practice together, and our theology of the Lord's Supper is that we celebrate the Holy Communion when we come together in person, gathering in a worship service, uh, and in that worship service we have the bread and the wine and a pastor that blesses the bread and the wine, and we distribute the bread and the wine, and we eat and drink together in person, this bread and this wine, uh, and that's what makes the celebration of the Lord's Supper as we understand it. That's how we understand what Jesus is teaching us in the Bible as well as our Lutheran confessions. Thank you. So then what about having a drive-up worship service with communion? Oh, good question. Um, our concern there is not a theological concern. Our concern there is germs. There is so much going on with this COVID-19 pandemic uh, that we still don't know about. It. It's airborne. How long does it live on surfaces? How far can it can it be transmitted? We just don't want to put our people at any risk by inviting them to come to a, a situation like that when we can't guarantee 100% that it would truly be safe. So it's a pastoral concern there that we just don't want to invite folks to take that kind of a risk. Well, thank you, Pastor Bill, for your time today. And thank you, viewers, for watching. This has been a special edition of SDBSGN, socially distant, but still good news. Thank you.